Hi everyone, my name is Sharon Rice. I'm here with generosity.org and this is our Philly Changer Chats. And I am here with uh, Krista Lane Hooper and Lexi Balfour of Geneva Global. Welcome ladies, it's so great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you, it's great being here. to be here. Awesome, so 30 seconds, just really quick. Tell us who is, what's Geneva Global, who are they, what do you guys represent in the city? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so Geneva Global is a social enterprise, um, and what we do is we specialize in international philanthropy and development. So we, we manage and advise projects for high net worth individuals, um, foundations, and for corporations, and so that can range from helping them with their philanthropic goals, so we could help foundations with that, engaging with donors who might be interested in giving to the same causes, or it can also be managing and implementing projects on the ground, um, so we do that as well, and Lexi's gonna talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, so basically I work on the programs team to um, custom build programs on behalf of um, clients, that um, then we um, build multi-year projects for them on the ground, and. Um, and then manage them um, overseas with local staff and measure the impact of the results. So I worked on a project with a client um, that was passionate about education. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Ethiopia and worked with our local um, team there that, um, that were condensing three grades into a 10 month curriculum in order for kids that had never been to school before to actually access accelerated learning programs so that they could go back into the formal education system. So, um, so we actually called this Speed School mm. and um, we combined this with economic empowerment activities like savings and loans groups for the mothers so that they could um, access the resources to sustain their children's education mm. and then also combine that with early childhood um, e um, education activities. This program has now um, accessed, has now enabled um, 70,000 children to access this um, speed school and accelerated learning that had never had the opportunity before to access education. Yeah. Um, so that was something that I worked on that is like a deeply um, impactful program that I had the opportunity to work on. I work on the other side of the company and so we work a little bit more with foundations and with um, private individuals who are interested in becoming a little more effective and growing in their philanthropy and one of the clients that I work with is a large family foundation mm -hmm. and we help them engage with donors to help support some of their causes. Okay. And so a way that um, we've done that, so one of their goals, uh, this client's goals, is to um, improve and to grow philanthropic giving around the world. And so that's brought them to regions all around the world to talk with donors in places that maybe philanthropy is really a new concept too, and it's not the same as it is in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so one of the donor relationships that I've helped support is a donor in Southeast Asia. And he's very new to giving big gifts. And so we're helping translate the materials. We develop communication materials for him. And we translate these more technical reports that come in from organizations that he's supported um, through his giving. And we create um, it to make it a little more accessible, digestible for this client. And so that way he can understand more about these issues and continue to learn about what he's giving to um, for these organizations. And then he can continue to ask the right questions and become a little more developed in the philanthropy as he goes along. So can you talk a little bit about some of the work that you're doing here in the city? Um, uh, anything that you're doing on like the local end with the local foundations here? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, um, so I think just in terms of um, discourse and being involved in kind of the topics of international development and effective philanthropy. Um, something that is a big um, kind of driver for us right now is um, actually promoting and reflecting messages from our CEO's book. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a plug sure. now. So <laughs> doing good, great um, at stores in Amazon right now. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, the book talks about not just giving more, but how to give more effectively, strategically, and impactfully locally. Something that we would really like to kind of build on is uh, working with companies in Philadelphia, individuals that are internationally, that are giving internationally, but maybe don't know how exactly best to um, excel their impact, and then maybe not seeing the measurement uh, results that they would like so we can help them 
um, as consultants think through that or also maybe they've never given internationally and so we can help them know where to start and think that through. Well this is fantastic. I thank you both so much for joining us today. Any, any final thoughts on um, ways that people can connect to Geneva and how we can learn more about what you guys are doing? Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess another thing that I might want to highlight is an initiative that we started really recently in response to the Nepal earthquakes. Mm -hmm. um, we actually started a Nepal recovery fund. And so within days of the first earthquake, we created this fund to fill in the gaps and to have actually a little bit of a different approach to disaster relief. Because often what we see is international NGOs who come into this space and it's very short term kind of uh, relief that they, that they provide and it's really necessary. But what our approach does, it fills in those gaps. We have a bottom up approach and we really want to invest in these community based vetted organizations who have been in Nepal for so long. And so as part of that, we're raising these funds. It's a crowdsourced, pooled, philanthropic fund that we've created. Um, so we're doing it with um, very high net worth individuals who have given to the fund, but also people who want to give $20 or $5. Right. And we're giving these small grants that these or community-based organizations that have existed for a long time can really absorb and they're able to um, really invest in the community and it can be more of a, over a long-term period as well. Yeah, and just to touch on what you, uh, what Krista mentioned about um, community-based organizations and the importance of that bottom-up approach, um, just like Philadelphia, you know, I've seen time and time again organizations select the most incredible community leaders here in Philadelphia and, you know, really support those community-based organizations that know their neighborhood issues the best, they know their needs the best, and that's um, very similar to what Geneva Global does internationally. Um, so yeah, so that is something that we provide to our clients, is that, um, that assurance that we'll select the kind of the best community leaders, community builders and organizations that have such a resilience and day in, day out, without the spotlight on them, are fighting for their kind of communities. Um, needs and issues so that's something that um, we we hope to grow and we're excited to also keep collaborating on with um, Philadelphia's community. Mm -hmm. Great that's so fantastic well thank you both so much for joining us today I have such such great information I'm really excited about it so check out Geneva Global. Thanks, Thanks so, much. so much. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs>